Alright, today's video is on 2.4 and 2.6. We're having a quiz coming up, so it'd be good to review over this. So we're going to do some problems together. All of this is adding and subtracting decimals, and remember that when we're using, adding, when we're adding and subtracting decimals, it's just like we learned in second grade with adding and subtracting. The only difference is now there's a decimal added in, and we have to keep them lined up so we get our answer correct. So here's some example problems that could be on your quiz. 75 hundredths plus 38 hundredths. So first what you're going to do is you need to stack them on top of each other and line up the decimal. And we're adding here. So first our 5 plus our 8 is 13. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. We bring down our decimal. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Our answer is 1 and 13 hundredths. Let's look at another one. 1. Let's say we have 76 hundredths minus 22 hundredths. First thing we're going to do is stack them on top. Now a lot of you ask, can I move them? Can I put this one on top and this one on the bottom? No, whichever one comes first you need to put on top. 76 hundredths minus 22 hundredths. 6 minus 2 is 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. Bring down my decimal and my zero. So it should be 54 hundredths. Next, let's try another one. Sometimes you'll have a whole number involved, such as 2 and 32 hundredths plus 49 hundredths. We're going to take our first number, which is 2 and 32 hundredths, put it on top of 49 hundredths, and we're adding. 9 plus 2 is going to give us 11. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. Bring down our decimal. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 and 81 hundredths is our answer. So that is mostly what we're covering from 2.4, lesson 2.4. Now let's jump into lesson 2.6. Now on lesson 2.6, here are some example problems. It might give it to you already set up on your paper. 89 and 672 thousandths subtracted by 9 and 941 thousandths. 2 minus 1 is 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. 6 minus 9, I can't do that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come over and I'm going to have to I'm going to have to borrow from my 9. My 9 becomes a 8. My 6 becomes a 16. Then we have 16 minus 9, which is 7. Bring down my decimal. 8 minus 9, I can't do that either. I got to cross out this 8. This 8 becomes a 7. This 8 becomes 18. 18 minus 9 double stacked 9. 7 minus nothing becomes a 7. So 79 and 731 thousandths. Let's try another problem. You might have this problem given to you. Now, remember when we put our, when we set up our problem, we're lining up that decimal. So we have our 41 and 4 tenths. Then we have our 18, and look how our decimals are lining up, 89 hundredths. We are subtracting. I like to fill in my zero sometimes, just so it helps me remember what I'm doing. So you could add that zero there where you don't have to. But by adding that zero, the number is still equivalent to what it was before. It just helps when I'm looking at it to know what I'm doing. Zero minus nine, can I do that? Nope, we can't do 0 minus 9. My 4 becomes a 3, my 0 becomes a 10. 
10 minus 9 is 1. 3 minus 8, can I do that? Nope. My 1 becomes a 0, my 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 8 is then going to be 5. Then 0 minus 8, again I'm stuck. I'm going to borrow from my 4, my 4 is a 3. My 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. I have to remember that my decimal comes straight on down, stays in the same spot. So 22 and 51 hundredths is my answer. Now let's go over an example problem that could be a word problem on your quiz possibly. I'm going to read it to you and write down the important numbers as I go through. Sarah has $142.35 in her bank account. She withdrew $13.75 on Monday. She also withdrew $48.25 on Friday. How much money is left in her bank account now? So first step that I would like you to do, we know that this right here is how much was withdrew. When it says withdrew, that means somebody took it out of the bank account and it's gone now. The money's no longer there. Sarah spent it. So if we know that this is what she spent and this is what she started with, I'm going to work over here first. I think I should add up all the money she spent, then subtract it from what her bank account was originally. So let's work on that. My decimals are already perfectly lined up so I can start. 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry my 1, my decimal comes straight on down. 3 plus 1 is 4. Then I have my 4 plus 8 is then going to give me 12. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So I see that $62 in all was withdrawn on Monday and Friday. Now, this is what her bank account was. Let's subtract the money that was spent on Monday and Friday. So I'm going to take away $62. 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus 0 is 3. My decimal comes straight down. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 6, I can't do that. I take away from my 1, it becomes a 0. My 4 becomes a 14. Now I have 14 minus 6, which is 8, and my money amount in all that Sarah has left over in her bank account is $80.35. All right, guys, that was our review. Our quiz is coming up. This is for 2.4 and 2.6. Thank you.